Hey, what's good, everybody? Joshua Jericho back with more Final Fantasy IV. And you may be interested in Joshua. Last time, you stupidly got to the Fey Marsh, the land of the summons. And then you, you stupidly hit a button. And you went, or not hit a button, but you went into a portal. And, and the portal sent you back outside. And so now what are you going to do? You dumb dumb. And then I said, oh, I was going to fight my way back in like a true champion, right? Or I'm going to talk to this guy. I'm heading back to town right now. Care to me? Yes, why, thank you very much. I'm just a scared monster, so let's hurry. Ta-da! And we're back in the payment. So that was much easier than anticipated. Feel free to go ahead and congratulate me on my brilliance. Very much appreciate it. I am proud of myself too. This is where we went last time. Okay, so the red one is where we come in at, and the blue one <sighs> sent us to the outside. So let's not step on the blue one again, right? Let's not be that dumb. Twice. Once is okay. Twice is yeah. Go back on the red one. Again. See where the red one sends us back to. Back to here. Okay. So. Blue one's probably gonna send me outside, so let's use this red one up here and see where it sends me to. Aha! Really, it has been some time, hasn't it? Yes, it has. In fact, been some time. The quantity of time is unknown, but some is definitely an allotment of it. This land is ruled by the Eidolon King and his lady wife, Queen Asura. Nasura. I don't actually remember that being the name of the queen. I hear our brethren are the source of all manner of trouble in your world. How shameful. Yes, they're... your brothers? Do not leave us again, Rydia. I could not bear to say goodbye again. Aww. The king will not lend, you, lend ear to your words unless you have proven your strength in battle against Queen Asura. Ooh. This is our library. It is the storehouse of arcane lore and wisdom. You're a talking chocobo. I'm more interested in that. I've never read a more fascinating tale. Hush, this is the library. Gosh, yeah, shut up, Lucas. Library with a bed in it. Of course. The cave of the world of men. To reach the other side is a test in and of itself. Requiring exceeding will and strength of armor life. Ah, it's hard to do. Oh, love it. The history of the Fey March extends eons before that of the world of men. I see. The summoners craft. The mages known as summoners call forth Eidolons with their spells. But there are few today who remember the Satan Mark. The noble Chocobo. We go through it at least when fleeing, he is an un Indeniably charming character. Ramu, the elder Justicar, his anger calls forth thunder clouds as dark as winter night, whose deathly bolts dispense justice with the greatest of efficiency. Even yet, there remain Eidolons that no summoner has ever learned to call. Ifri, the infernal, spouting flames hot and hungry enough to consume all they touch. He shows his foes no mercy! Titan, the Earth Reaver, his mighty arms rend earth and stone, feeding his foes to Gaia's gaping maw. Nom, 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 nom. A Chiliad I could spend within this place, and still would there remain tomes I had not read and secrets I hungered to know. I think I'm done reading. Have humans mastered the use of ink and quill as well? Have we mastered? Let me tell you a story about computers. We don't even need that ink and stuff no more. To speak to the king, you must first have the blessing of his queen, her majesty Ashura. This is Ashura here? This is the audience chamber for the king and the queen of the Eidolons. Who puts their audience chamber in the bottom floor of a library? 
I'm like, hey, what? Oh, that was my soda popping. Sorry. Hey, what? Uh, we're on the Dewey Decimal System. Is uh, battle for the world of mankind against Queen Ashura. Uh, is it point nine seven? Okay. So dumb. Your Majesty, Radia, it is good to see you again and well. Please, Your Majesty, we have need of your strength, and I shall lend it to you. But you know, I must first test your own. It is the code, and the code must be observed. Have you the courage and strength to face me? Yes! So be it. Sure, I'll lose. Dude. Your, your wife is two-faced. Just so you know. I mean, I don't know if you care or not, but... I guess she's not really two faced, I guess she's three faced. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh good, she absorbs that. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? Just wrecking people right now. Is this where I just have to hope Cecil can win? Cecil, can you do it on your own? I can try. I'm a truck after all. I feel like that's all this game has become now. It's like, can Cecil defeat the boss by himself with some help from other people? Not even sure what's going on here. Spit at them dragons. Spit at them with all your mighty dragon spitting powers. Okay, I just had to survive it basically. That was a weird fight, man. Enemies with counter attacks is really hard. Hey, guess what? Edge didn't survive. 
Sweet Radia, these are good companions you have found, both strong and true. Allow me, too, to lend my strength to your cause. Summon me whenever you have need. Yay! I learned a dispel. Um, I want to see what that does. What does that spell do, guys? What do you think? Anybody? Um, magic. Summon. Summon Ashura for random results. Great. Random's my favorite kind of ability. Oh, let's get back out of here and go res up edge. See if we can find a nin or something. I mean, why not? He might be useful. Ooh, armorer. You shouldn't bring other humans here without good reason, Rydia. We dwell here in quiet seclusion. Well, what if I have a good reason? You don't know. You don't know me. You didn't ask me. Just assume things. I'll kill you. I'll kill you dead. How you like those reasons? Yeah. You don't like them. That's how you like them. You'd like them not at all. I just killed your queen. I mean, she's not dead. But I took her out. How you like them applesauce? Huh? Yeah? You don't. That's how you like it. I'll teach you a what for on your thing too. You can smart out me. I'll break your jaw thing under that hood. Uh, if you have one. Our weapons are not made for human hands. Are you sure that you can wield them? Or what? Are they like the axes from the dwarves? So complex. It's like a sword, but instead of the sword being the sharp pointy part, we put the Shot pointy pot attached onto the stick pot. Now it's like this you have to swing it with all your weight. See, it's so much more complex. Ho ho, lolly ho. Ready, now this is a surprise. Let's see what they got. So complex that a human can't possibly use it. A whip. Oh man. I'm sure nobody can use a whip. I am dumbfounded. faded. You smart Alex. Our weapons are too complex for humans. Me. Me, me, me. Oh, Rydia, are those your human friends? Yes, they are. It's good to see your face again, Rydia. What is this? Rydia, I'm so glad you're back. You see, I need your help with the problem. Did something happen? My friends went off on a trip and never came back. They were supposed to be back today. Okay, we'll go look for them. And if we find them, we'll tell them to get back to town. We will? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Any idea where they could have gone? One wanted to go see the desert. There's supposed to be something called an oasis there, and it seems he really wanted to drink the water there. Thanks, we'll go look around. Okay. I'm not gonna touch that, because I'm gonna assume that's a teleporty outy thingy. Hello, Radio. What? It's strange for you to hear me speak. Yes, because you're a chugabo. I wonder how Ifrit is these days. Hot headed as ever, no doubt. Cast Float and Titan can shake the earth all day for all the good it will do. Yeah. Chuckapo, Shiva, Ramu, and all the rest reside here. Oh, 
Fuck them. Why doesn't anybody ever sell normal things anymore? People too good for potions? Fine, rip me off. 12,000 gold. See if I carry your dang Eidolons and your stupid economy. Could have gone to a quality inn and gotten free waffles. No, I had to go here. I don't even a continental breakfast, let alone waffles. I didn't even think to look. Okay, good. I just back to back to normal, so he's right he's ready to die. Let's do this. Take you down, old man. Ready, a child. You are the first and only to best my lady queen. But strength of arm alone will aid you little in the face of true evil. But without the strength of will to keep it aligned on the proper course, all the power in the world amounts to nothing. My spirit has been tempered and honed in the forge of the ages. You face me knowing what it means to do so? You bet your bumpkiss. Interesting the Viathan is the king of the idol one. I don't remember if this is right or not, but we're gonna pretend like it's right. If it's wrong, we will never speak of it again. Dude, your wife was much harder to fight, just so you know. Unless you got some kind of like special ability here at the end of when I was talking. Two villages in a row, that could be bad. One dead edge. Alright, so you at least matched your wife. She killed Edge, you killed Edge, you're at least that good. But, just to clarify the sake, a lot of things kill Edge, so you're still not that great. Yeah, for the king of all Eidolons, you're not that superior. But, you know, hey, whatever. Don't feel bad, at least you killed Edge. It's like a consolation prize. Like, a uh, lifetime supply of rice roni the San Francisco treat. Ding, ding, you killed Edge, yay! A case of turtle wax! And the dead Edge. Indeed, you bear the light. Very well. Go with the power of the Eidolon King at your command. Yeah. 
That was it. Did I break the game by walking here? That was weird. Well, I guess that's it. I got my idol on. I got my idol on. on. Yes. I'm the awesome. I know, I know, I could raise Edge, or I could not and say I raised him. What is this? Just didn't do anything. What? This inferior button wielding nothingness. Gag nabbit. Falling. Crap, I'm gonna go find the exit. The actual exit. Let's see, I think it's over here someplace. There we go. And I gotta go down here. Get the goldy thing. There we go. And I go to that one. I accidentally went to earlier. Bammo! Done, did, did it. Now check this out. Instead of spending all that money. Raising Edge a second time, because it's Edge and I just it's gonna die anyway. Let's fly over here. Go to the pot. To the pot! Bing. Did it work? Oh, it totally worked. Free Edge raise. Alright, so, there's a few things I can do now at this point. I think I still need to go find the area where the sylphs are, and then go back up on land, on land, go back up above the uh, upper world, and uh, take care of some stuff up there. So yeah, there's still work to do, and we'll get it done. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.